सो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड गाइस आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर अमेजिंग वीडियो सो गाइस एज यू कैन सी दैट आई गॉट अ अमेजिंग थिंग हेयर फॉर यू एंड यस यू गाइस रिक्वेस्टेड इट अ लॉट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई गॉट इट हेयर जस्ट फॉर यू गाइस सो यस गाइस यू गाइस आस्क मी टू ब्रिंग दिस सो दैट्स व्हाई वी ब्रॉट इट सो इफ यू आर न्यू हियर मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब गाइस बिकॉज़ दीस अमेजिंग वीडियोस आई ब्रिंग ऑन अ डेली बेसिस जस्ट फॉर यू एंड देयर इज मोर सिमिलर स्टफ इज येट टू कम सो मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड इफ पॉसिबल डू लाइक शेयर कमेंट एज़ वेल सो या गाइस मेक श्योर यू डू ऑल दैट एंड आई विल मेक श्योर आई विल मेक similar videos coming and today we gonna open it and we gonna take out our new bay and and we will talk about it how amazing this is gonna be so yeah guys i hope you are excited if you are let me know in the comment section and meanwhile let me open this So guys we have unboxed our bay and here it is ultimate valt react v7 yeah or we can say that ultimate evo valt react v7 that's the full name and this is the first time i'm seeing a uh, ultimate valkyrie from hasbro i am so used to takata tommy it it feels a slightly weird to hold this honestly but yeah it feels like a valkyrie it looks amazing i am really happy about it so guys before we talk about it let me give you a closer look so that you can decide for yourself so guys this is how it looks up close and honestly i am happy about it uh, finally india got some base so that's that's great thanks to hasbro india for that obviously and yeah that's the ultimate valkyrie from hasbro guys obviously it's a base derived from original takata tommy base but yeah it looks it looks quite similar but i want to say guys hasbro should have added some stickers here because there is a scope to add some stickers so they should have gone with that or at least paint or something because they did it paint here so i can think like they could do here as well but no issues no issues so one thing i'm going to say guys uh, i like about hasbro quad drive base is that compared to takata tommy that they actually were and that's the fun of the battle so whenever i battled with db base i stopped battling with db or bu base because guys they don't burst so guys when takata tommy base became too strong to burst they just lost the fun of the battle so yeah from there i stopped battling them much and that's why you don't see too many burst videos on my channel but no issues that's no more because hasbro is here to save the day so yeah guys we'll be seeing a lot of burst because they will burst and that's the fun part about them so yeah guys let me show you the parts real quick so here we go so very first we have this top layer which is called as obviously ultimate valt react but i will still tell you guys so this is like a armor guys so in takata tommy we do have a metal armor and uh, it's not that easy to take it off in takata tommy you have to open the clips and stuff like that so let me give you a bit idea so in takata tommy you have armor like that so when you do that you have these clips in the core you have to press it then so it's it's slightly complicated in takata tommy to take out the armor and stuff in hasbro it is slightly less weird to be honest so yeah this is the armor but sad part is it is made out of the plastic so yeah they could have given it the metal but no issues you, if you have takata tommy base you can take out the metal armor and put it in here it's gonna work trust me so yeah you can add like 8 9 10 grams more weight to your bay so that is one case then this is sort of a db core i am not sure what they call it in hasbro but in takata tommy it's like a db core so it's the counterpart version of the db core from hasbro and people are saying like hasbro base in india don't have qr codes so I am really sorry about that, but they kind of do. So yeah, Hasbro India base gets QR code as well. So don't believe whatever you hear on social media. That's the lesson from this. And then this is the ultimate ring. So there is no rubber, but still uh, the bay looks good, I think. And I am really happy about it. It is okay, guys. It is okay. Uh, obviously, I was expecting this to be that light because it's Hasbro after all. So guys, to assemble it back, you have to put your DB core or core like that and just twist it. That's it. And then you have to take out the armor and put it like that. That's all. That's easy to assemble. I love it. Now, guys, we have a Karma disc here. So it is a slightly lighter version of Karma. And we got one, two, and three stars here. So yeah, this is a Karma disc, a lighter version of Karma from Hasbro. It's not exactly a Takata Tommy, so don't think like that. But it's okay. It's okay. And guys, this is the driver. So the sad part about this driver is that they did not even match the color. So they should have uh, done the same color. So I was expecting it to be the same. Color, but sadly that's not the case so yeah i'm slightly disappointed there but guys it's all right it's no big deal by the way but guys the amazing thing about hasbro base is that they have two modes in drivers so obviously there is this stamina slash defense tip then there is a attack 
tape there is no rubber on it so they have removed rubber completely from the base i'm not sure if it is a security reason or health reason but they did kind of a so yeah that's why there is no rubber on the tape there is no rubber on the uh, this ring ultimate ring so yeah that's the case uh, this bay can be improved with some parts from takatomi you can change the armor you can use a heavy disc you can use a better driver or a better spin driver so these bays can have a improvement if you want me to do a separate video on that i can totally do that but guys so far i think it's all right because hasbro makes their own version of base so this is one of the versions obviously it's it's not like that so even in mfb we have seen right for fang leon they made a separate fang leon for proton nemesis they made a separate proton nemesis for beatlings they made a separate beatlings even for cosmic pegasus they made a separate cosmic pegasus so obviously sometimes they do change few things but it's fun it's fun so i'm happy that they did not make it the same exact bay because then there would be no point to buying in hasbro because as a collector i think this is a separate bay and it deserves a place in my collection so yeah that's the great thing about this and guys the most amazing thing is that they burst so there is a lot of fun in that so yeah guys enough about this talk now what we gonna do is we gonna weigh this bay and for that we need our weighing scale so let me bring out my weighing scale to see how much this bay actually weighs so guys i got my weighing scale set up here so we are ready to weigh this bay so here we go okay so it weighs 44 grams so it's not really heavy to be honest it's very light and we'll see we'll see how it does with that less of a weight i mean there is a lot of scope of improvement so we'll do in separate video but 44 is not that bad it's not too much but it's not that bad either so yeah guys enough about this let me bring out my stadium and let's try this bay in real life and let's see how it does so guys my stadium is set up and we are ready to try this way but before we do that let me tell you something guys that this is a quad drive stadium so i have already made a video on it so if you haven't watched it make sure you do that okay so guys one more thing here you can see that these bays are called as quad drive and why is that i forgot to explain that earlier so these bays has two modes in drivers obviously you can switch modes in these and you can switch the bay into high and low mode like the Tommy db base so obviously two modes in the layer and two modes in the driver so that becomes four modes so that's why they call it a quad drive so yeah that was the fun fact now it's time to try a test spin so we're gonna try the test spin with this launcher first so let's see how good of a launcher this is because guys takaya tommy mostly launched base as boosters they never made it starter they just removed the launcher completely and went with all the boosters while hasbro did care to include a launcher so launcher is not obviously too great but at least we got something right so yeah i'm happy that hasbro included this here we go yeah uh launch was really not good honestly i was not able to launch it properly so i'm gonna do it again i was not able to pull the ripcord properly so i'm gonna do it second time so guys we are ready for the second launch here we go now it's a good launch i'm satisfied with it so yeah i i would say like this is not very powerful launcher but it is worth having something rather than having nothing so it's a great addition that hasbro did in their base to add a free launcher at least so it's not the most powerful launcher but it is at least usable so you can if you don't have any launcher this might come in handy so a great effort uh, by hasbro here now guys we're gonna try test spin with our power core db launchers so guys if any folks from hasbro or any uh, amazon seller is watching this please bring hasbro launchers here as well because i did import this from japan and most people most kids they cannot do the same right so please do bring the launchers as well the string ones obviously you given the ripcord ones we are happy about it but we need the string ones so let's try this here we go guys now here we see some performance guys and i am really happy about it great performance so far now we gonna try the performance in the other mode of the driver and guys personally i am no fan of high mode so we will not try that and guys as you saw that this bursted so obviously that's the fun in burst if the bay burst that gives a satisfaction to play with to be honest and that was missing in takatomi db or bu base from a long time so i am glad to have hashbro on the side and we will be making more burst videos on hashbros so i will be buying few more of these then we will make few more videos so far this uh mode is really good i like this one rather more than this one to be honest so yeah 
I personally feel like this mode is better than the actual attack mode, but we will stick with the attack mode so far. Now, guys, we got three Takatomi base here at the moment because I don't have much hash bros as of now. So we'll try to better it to see how this performs. Honestly, it's not comparable to Takatomi, and we shouldn't compare it at all. We should use this bay against only hash bro quad drive base. That's what I feel personally because that's what it was meant to do. I don't have hash bro quad drive base as of now. So let's try with this. So let's go with TTs. So here we have some poison. Hydra or something from TT and it's not a weak bait it's pretty good let's see how this goes good attack by Ash Bros and a knockout and a burst finish wow that was amazing I mean that was fun and that's what I am aiming for so we are gonna give it one more try so guys uh, this is what I was expecting it for and this burst feel was missing in Beyblade generation Beyblade burst generation from a long time at least from GT generation I think and the reason was guys because the Beyblade became so strong that they couldn't burst and that took the fun out of it. No issues so far good performance I am satisfied with it we are gonna give it one more shot by the way. So here it goes time for hash bro. Good attacks attacks are good really good. Yeah, okay performance, okay performance. Now guys, I'm gonna try against this DB wave which is missing a DB disc. No issues, let's see how this goes. I'm not expecting it to win because these bases are really heavy compared to our Veltriac here. So either, either we modify our Veltriac to beat these guys or we should just have fun. I think these battles will be more fun when we'll have more hash bros guys. So I'm already working on it. I have ordered few. So let's wait for that. And I'll be making few more videos in upcoming days. So you'll see more of a hash bro. So let's try Brave Valkyrie. This is gonna be his last battle guys. And I'm not expecting ultimate to win here. But it's okay. I mean it, it, it has not busted. So that's a great thing. So yeah guys, this is a great bay. I feel like Hashbro did an awesome job and I'm glad that they made it their own way because that makes this bay unique. So at least they did not make the replica of Takatomi. So, so they made it unique. So obviously it could be one of the base which you want in your collection probably. And I'll be keeping this one in my collection for sure. So yeah guys, this bay is good for collection. It's quite fun to play with as well. So yeah guys, I think you can go for it. So yeah guys, these were my thoughts on this and rest I will leave up to you guys. So you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about about this so yeah guys that's pretty much it from my side i'm gonna see you guys in another video another day so guys till then stay safe and happy blading